Diddy's son, Christian, a.k.a. King Combs, is now being sued, just like his father is. Uh, a woman filed a lawsuit. Christian Diddy's son, also known as King, is currently facing legal action, much like his father did. The woman filed a lawsuit against King, claiming that in late 2022, just before New Year's Eve, King had her on a yacht. The lawsuit also specifically cites Diddy's house raids as evidence of their preparation to dispose of evidence. And now King is openly criticizing Diddy, saying, Hey, you guys forgot to raid the house next to our house. In my opinion, the only reason King would feel brave enough to record a diss song saying something like this is because he knows that whatever evidence they did have is probably destroyed by now. Next up is Jay-Z, who Jaguar now claims is actually far worse than P. Diddy because he is simply more calculating and intelligent. Jaguar claims that Jay-Z was involved in the early 1990s in the grooming of young ladies, citing the likes of Foxy Brown, Aya, and you know who else. I can't name her because she'll go crazy in my com. Jay-Z and Beyonce may be falling in love with Diddy. Remember how Christian Combs released that dissident song directed at the federal government? Well, the following day, the federal government responded forcefully by releasing a video showing Diddy having sex with Cassie. You would think King would take a cue, but nope, he's out here discussing betraying all of Diddy's industry friends, including the well-known figures like Jay-Z and Beyonce. After Diddy's estates were searched in March, Jay-Z and Beyonce kind of shifted over the next three years, and by 2027, they no longer had the public power you may have thought they did. Jay-Z has been keeping a low profile ever since and hasn't been spotted in public for months. Conversely, Beyonce is attempting to deflect criticism with a country record and a new hair care line, but the internet never stops people from finding out about the Carter family's ties to Diddy. The key question is what information Christian has about Jay-Z and Beyonce's friendship with his father. Diddy's predicament is getting worse. According to a recent CNN scoop, he is only a few days away from facing formal charges. A grand jury is investigating, and the FEDs are preparing subpoenas for witnesses to provide several witness statements. Witnesses are already aware that they may have to appear in person in New York City to testify. Homeland Security is ensuring the matter is closed, which essentially indicates Diddy is in serious danger and that there are others involved as well. The whole thing is a problem, and it seems like it will only get worse. Christian was first implicated in this fiasco in February when producer Rodney Lira Jones cited him in a lawsuit against Diddy. Now he's in serious water with that lawsuit hanging over his head. Lil Rod claimed to have solid proof that Christian had sexually assaulted a young woman. A few months later, the alleged victim, Grace Saw Mark, retaliated strongly, filing a 31-page lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court, naming Diddy and Christian as defendants. Grace claimed to have worked as a bartender and crew member on a yacht that Diddy and his family leased in December 2022. What was supposed to be a fun family vacation turned into a nightmare, with several ex-workers and celebrities on board. Shekhumbas and his crew were living it up on a boat, but this wasn't your typical I call family get-together. There was a wild and hedonistic vibe Grace witnessed some things that would make your head spin, because she was on duty from sunset to sunrise. Christian arrives on a December night. Scene Sun appears with Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a music producer. According to Grace, Christian is very inebriated and had his sights set on her right away. Things quickly spiraled out of control as he began pressuring her to take tequila shots, and she even suspects the tequila was tampered with because she witnessed other women pass out after just one drink. Grace also claims that Christian crossed the line by inappropriately touching her in places that are clearly off-limits. 
Grace asserts photographs purport to show the precise bruises on her arm following this event. Christian allegedly trapped her in a room and became quite hostile, seizing her arm and attempting to force himself on her until another crew member entered. After Grace lost her work, her mental health deteriorated, resulting in anxiety attacks, panic attacks, and even suicidal thoughts. Grace Omar's legal team is working extremely hard, and Rodney Diggs, his attorney, is emphasizing that he is here to defend people who are unable to defend themselves. I commend Grace for having the courage to come forward with her truth, and I hope that her experience will encourage others to do the same. According to Grace's other attorney, like father, like son, it gives us no joy or pleasure to file this suit against Christian comms who has clearly adopted his father's pattern and practice of depravity. Diddy is already embroiled in a number of legal battles, so this lawsuit is just the tip of the iceberg for him, as he is named as a co-conspirator in both the lawsuit for his son's alleged actions and for chartering the yacht. Not surprisingly, Christian and Diddy's attorney, Aaron Dyer, denied everything calling the lawsuit manufactured lies and promising to get the claim dismissed. However, it should not be forgotten that Diddy said the same thing when Cassie initially filed her lawsuit, claiming she was just after a quick payday. And look where we are now. Federal investigators recently raided his homes in law in Miami, probing into various allegations it's turning into a major, he said she said situation. Grace provided an audio clip from the Diddy Yacht incident to support her claims and the transcript, which other outlets were able to obtain, paints a troubling picture. Grace can be heard saying to Christian, Excuse me, please don't touch my legs like that. I'll move my legs wherever I want to if I want to do this. Grace said she wanted to leave the studio, pointing out that she wasn't even permitted inside. Christian allegedly replied, listen to you, everyone on the crew. Christian then asked, who can I talk to? I'm going to say I requested you right now. Grace responds, you can take your hand off my for the first thing. She claims that Christian pressured her to take a shot, which she believes was tampered with. The situation becomes even more intense when Cassie hits her and you begin playing in the background. In case you were unaware, Cassie was once Shadiddy Com's girl, and she has made some serious allegations against him. You would think that with all this heat, Christian would keep a low profile, but nope. Instead, he drops a diss track, the song selection assistant mocks Diddy's business associates for abandoning him, and even makes fun of the federal agents for raiding Christian Aris's home, claiming that they overlooked Diddy's neighbor's home. I feel that the only reason Christian felt comfortable putting this in this diss track to 50 Cent was because he knew that by now all the evidence would be discarded. Christian claims in his diss track that they missed raining the house that they bought next door to Diddy's house, just like when the Fetty Boys ran in both of our cribs too bad. Days after the song was released, Christian's song didn't just stir things up, it blew the lid off. While Christian tries to play tough, taunting the feds and dropping diss, the evidence against him is mounting, and his father keeps piling it up. This Nepo baby really believes he's invincible, 